So for this tutorial, you want to start off with your measuring tape. And with your measuring tape, you want to get the measurement from the top of your bust. So this is about 34. And from here, you want to figure out how long or the length for your bandeau top. So I think I'm going to go about 7 inches down. And then from there, whatever that length is, you want to get the measurement which is around this belly area and that's about 28 inches so i got 34 at the top seven right here and 28 inches at the bottom and you want to take that measurement and put that either on pattern paper or you can put it on newspaper or recycled paper okay so i already cut out my first piece and as you can see here Whatever your measurement is from around the bust area, you're just taking half of that measurement. And what I usually do is I like to take about two to four inches off from the top and bottom measurement. So, um, like I'm using a very stretchy fabric and you can see here just by me pulling it, it's adding it probably about seven to ten inches. So what I do is I like to take few inches off so that it's really fitted and it's not loose on me. So, yeah, so as mentioned before, are you doing this taking the top measurement and the bottom measurement? And I believe my top measurement was 34, so half of that is 17, and I took about 4 inches off, and you just do the same for the bottom. And I'm just going to cut out two pieces, and I'll show you the next step. See here, I have my two pieces. Now, our next step would be to cut out the halter string. Now, there's two ways you can do this. One way is to have it whatever your desired length is and have two pieces so it can connect to both sides. Or you can just have one halter string, um, just a one piece that will just be over the neck. But you do have to make sure that it is long enough so that it doesn't um, make your bandeau top fit shorter than what it's supposed to be if that makes sense so i'm going to do two pieces so you just want to figure out how long you want it and how wide you want it so you can see here i already have all the pieces that you need you have your front and back for that bandeau top part and you also have your halter string but um all you're going to do now before connecting anything together is to take your halter string and just fold it over and sew along that edge and you want to do that for both halter strings and then just flip it inside so out. now that we have all of our pieces cut out and our halter string flipped inside out as well and sewed all we're going to do is put right sides together so i'm just going to lay this on top like this and then for your halter string all you want to do is kind of wherever you decide you want it to be at you just stick it in there from the side and it just goes in like this and you're just going to sew on top of that and then you want to do that the same thing for the other side and just lay that in there and of course before sewing anything down you do want to make sure that those strings are even so if you have to take your ruler and make sure that they're even and pin along the sides and we're just going to sew it down along this edge here so once you finish sewing it it should look something similar to this right here and our last step would be to hem the top and the bottom so what i'm going to do is fold over twice and sew down that line with a half inch seam allowance and also, when you sew the top, as far as hemming the top and bottom, you want to make sure that, um, I think it's best to do a zigzag stitch because you don't have to worry about the thread popping or any of that when it stretches out. So, um, I'm just going to sew the top and the bottom, hem all that, and I'm going to show you what that looks like on the dress form. And also, before I do that, you want to make sure that you hem the top as well for the halter strings. What I like to do is just fold it in a little. And then I'll just sew on top of that line with a straight stitch. So I did decide to add some elastic in there, as you can see from the other side. And um, after you're done, it should look like this. 
with your two halter strings on the side and if you want you cross it over and tie it in the back and look how cute that looks or so another way to wear this swimsuit top is just by taking the halter strings here and simply tying it up in the back like this around the neck and you can kind of see it has this Marilyn Monroe retro swimsuit vibe too which I think is really cute so if you like this tutorial make sure to share like and subscribe and also give a thumbs up and I'll see you next week for a new tutorial bye